right. Yeah. I thought you'd be over Kurt. <laughs> what was there going on there then? What, uh... oh, everything looked nice, everything was great, put it down right in the middle line and then uh, but basically I just didn't have the feeling in my legs to, to steer it. And uh, a bit like a bit like earlier in the week when the uh, when I went off the the runway, you just don't have the response with uh, with metal legs. All it does is uh, well, there's just no feeling, and like, you need feeling when you're landing these aircraft. So yeah, bit of a problem really because uh, I think what we need to do is I have to go back to no legs again. And, and the big the reason I put my feet on was because the last time I landed, I had no way of keeping the nose straight as I came into land. Dave obviously uses a bungee system, so should have got that on really, rather than go with feet. But uh, this is it, experimenting. Unfortunately, it's cost us an aircraft now. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I was like, with the, what I should have done was grab this with my hand, but at that point, it was like, fuck, it was like crazy, crazy jukes of hazard stuff going on. Needs to be hands, got to be hands controls every time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just went up, enjoyed it, um, obviously for the benefit of the camera, it was the first flight we've done after Luke's little uh, uh, dodgy landing. Um, so I just wanted to get up there, sort of calm the nerves down and just fly around for a little bit and then do the hard bit, the, the landing, which uh, wasn't my best, but it worked really well. We've still got an aeroplane in one piece. So yeah, now it's time to give Cat a go. Looking forward to it, Cat. Bit of excitement. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you when I'm down. That was my second scariest flight to begin with. Mm. It was actually a lot smoother than I thought, actually, but you can definitely tell if you start to go off, it's just, you know, you fall in almost another group, someone else's groove. So you've got to literally concentrate and concentrate. You're down, doesn't matter about being down with the wing, you've got to concentrate on that front ski. And then, uh, yeah, and slowing up was, yeah, slowed up quite well, actually. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And just drips straight onto She's the steering column. Straight. And there's a flame, a fire who burns in the cold. You walk alone, you roam far and wide. You hear no thoughts of your own, and the river is frozen in slow. You are the king of the cold. You are the king of the cold. Sword in the air of your home. You sail in the sky, you are gold. You are the king of the cold. You are the king of the cold. You sword in the air of your home. You sail in the sky. The king of the cold. 
Well done, Luke. Two's a charm. <laughs> that was great. You yeah. just proved you can get lucky the first time. Exactly, yeah, that's why I did it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I he fluked that last one. Oh, it feels good. A bit dry in the mouth now. Mm -hmm. Well done, mate. Well done. <sighs> what was that like Still then? Still fucked an aircraft, eh? Still on my... Yeah. That's two on my chip now, I'm not happy about that. Uh, some fundraising. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's lovely out there. I mean, you couldn't ask for better conditions. It's, um, you know, you can actually whack the trim right up to slow and come in pretty much sort of slip in like you're, like you're kind of walking in because uh, there's not a breath of wind. So it's perfect conditions really to do a regain. You are the king of the cold. You are the king of the cold. Sword in the air. Forgive you. Yeah, I know, I'll never hear the end of this one. No. Yeah. Oh well. At least you didn't get your hat trick. That's good. That's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, I've still got a lot of flying ahead of you. Obviously, say good it? things come in freeze. I don't really break aircraft, I just ding them. A bit like, bit like bumping someone's car in a car park. I love tap aircraft. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs>